What we're seeing here is a small sample of water being vibrated by sound. The first view is the container, or ring, holding the water from spilling off of the face of the lens. Light shines up from the bottom, through the lens, and passes through the vibrating water. Here we have a side view. The light travels up through another set of lenses and is reflected off of a mirror onto a flat surface where we can view the magnified image of the standing waves which are created within the water sample by the sound that we hear in the background. This beautiful harmonic pattern portrays a radially symmetrical form frequently seen in nature as in flowers and small sea creatures. As we change the frequency, the pattern immediately changes in response to the animating tone. If we view this phenomena in slow motion from above, we can see a much clearer view of the movement within the water sample itself. You can see it moving within itself, undulating, almost like the motion of a jellyfish, moving into the center and back out again, all the while maintaining a very regular and coherent pentagonal shape. This same phenomenon, when viewed as before, reveals this ten-faceted jewel, an almost perfect crystalline structure. Yet this is a dynamic structure, portraying the standing waves created by the two phases of the pentagonal shape we saw undulating so clearly from above. If we slow down this phenomenon even further, viewing it at one frame per second, while focusing the camera lens on a focal plane within the water sample, we can observe this remarkable sequence of harmonic patterns as a series of static, crystal-like lattices. The similarity of these forms to ice crystals is undeniable. While this unique perspective accentuates the structural elements, there is another process at play here which is equally astounding. As mentioned earlier, the liquid moves through regular phases, undulating through itself in response to the frequency of the vibration. As long as the frequency and the amplitude remain the same, the resulting pattern will be maintained, in this case, as a six-sided hexagonal figure. Here again we see a rhythmic succession of phases, pulsating in total adherence to the animating tone. But if we change this tone, another phenomenon becomes immediately apparent. We start without any vibration and slowly increase the amplitude. Concentric waves appear, much like you'd see if you dropped a pebble in water. As we increase the amplitude ever so slightly, a dramatic effect ensues. Here, viewed in slow motion, we can begin to see this stable structure dissolving into chaos. The patterns created in these experiments are determined by the quality of the substance. In this case, the very structure of the water itself determines the way it will respond when subjected to vibration. Different substances respond differently, depending on their viscosity or how fluid they are. In this instance, a four-figured quadrate pattern is formed in response to the tone that we hear in the background. If we vary the frequency of the tone, changing the pitch in other words, the pattern will change in accordance with the new pitch or frequency. If we vary the amplitude or the loudness, an entirely different series of patterns will emerge. In this case, the patterns repeat a hexagonal motif. If we look carefully, we can see that these hexagonal figures are actually the result of a trigonal or three-sided pattern moving in and out through itself in two phases, as we saw with the five-sided figure. As fascinating as these patterns may be, what is most interesting is watching their dynamics, the way they emerge from a state of turbulence. In fact, if you watch closely, you may observe that between every new form there is a period of disintegration or chaos.